Okay, hi guys and gals. This is Jody, and we are on our sixth session of how to configure an Ubuntu server for a PHP project, as known as a LAMP server, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and I think they are going to use Laravel. Okay, our new to-do list, our friend had asked us to install these modules on our uh, server, also some configurations on the Apache, also some other changes. Let's go one by one. Okay, first, I think we are on the server. Okay, what should be done? First, he needs MBA string PHP extension. Okay, we have the apt, so I will do apt search MBA string. Voila, that's there. MB string. So apt install this one. Okay, also he also needs PC and TL extension. I think this is installed on all uh, PHPs, but here it's disabled. We will look into it later. So I will go here. This is done. Uh, PHP PH image magic extension, apt search. Uh, let's search for magic grep with PHP, pipe connects two commands to each other. So this output will go to this. Uh, PHP image magic, okay. Is this the one or we need PHP 7.1? Image magic, I'm not sure. We will install this and we'll ask them if it doesn't work. PHP. Image magic. Okay, if it doesn't work, we'll ask later. Also, they need some modules on Apache. This rewrite will let people to redirect pages to each other or define some specific, uh, what they're called, right, the regex. You say, okay, if this is the pattern, show this page. None of our business. We are the system administrator. This will be handled by the developer. At the moment, we just need to make sure that this is installed. Let's do apt search uh, rewrite. You see there are lots of rewrites, so we will say searching them for Apache. Okay, Apache utils. This is already installed. So I have to check if this is enabled or not. There is one command, Apache to control, show all modules. This will show all modules. I can pipe it to grab rewrite to see if rewrite is installed or not ah sorry if it's active or not it is not so let's try activating it apache 2 enable modules even if you hit just the enter here the previous time we were giving the module name here you can do just here and it will show all available modules you can search for the one you want and Tell it to activate this. Difficult to find what you are looking for. We can do a search. I will do Control M. They want the rewrite module. Since there is no rewrite, uh, so let's run it once more. Mod rewrite. Sorry. Mod rewrite. Module mod rewrite does not exist. Let's try with rewrite. Enabling module rewrite. So to activate this, you have to restart the configurations. It was also possible to go here. Apache 2 in etc. All the configurations are there. I will try the Apache 2 and then we can do cd modes. Again, it's modes available. Mode rewrite should be here. 
let's find it ls so mod rewrite is here so now if I go to mods enable and do lsltr edge grid rewrite you can see that here it's a link to the uh, main one this is how Apache decided to configure its uh, modules its configurations and many other softwares do it creates one file one directory called available also one directory called enabled everything is here which is installed is here if I want to make something available Sorry, if I want to enable something, I can just create a short link here. And there are commands like A2 enable mode. Anyway, this one is also done. So we are here. Then they want to do some changes on PHP configurations. Now we know we have to go to etc, cdphp, cd 7.1, the one we are using. And then we can do vi modes available. We will go to the Apache. Here it's a configuration which PHP uses when answering to the Apache. So I will edit this. There is one important configuration which is called disabled functions, I think. No. Disable functions. Yes. Whatever function named here is disabled. If you call this on PHP, PHP won't answer. So it's a security measurement. You can add the functions you don't want to be called here. My friend had asked to open whatever PCNTL. We can see that all of them do have PCNTL, 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 PCNTL everything. So I will delete up to here. But it's good to, for example, put PHP info here. So no one will be able to run PHP info. This is one of the things that all the hackers do. As soon as they can run code, they will try PHP info to see the version and other stuff. So we also done this. They have also asked me to change the production document route to this. Okay, developer server. Sometimes I have the last say and I'm the guy who says no it's better to keep them in the public HTML but it's their project so I will go to Tavani top I change my user okay they want me to rename public HTML to sorry mkdar production CD production. They want me to create MKDIR car public. No, this is better because it's going to be a PHP project. So this is cleaner. CD current MKDIR public. This will be their main service. Also, home Tavanito. Okay, demo. So I will go one step up. I will go one step up. And I will make a demo here. MK dive demo. We were able to create all of this in one step, but who cares? So I have these ones. Again, you know, I have to exit the server. VI ETC Apache sites enabled. Okay, zero zero default. What is this? Okay, this answers to the IP 0002. Here I have to change the document root. It's Tavanito. Okay, up to here it's fine. Production current public. This is done. Then we have to go with the other server for the demo. Okay, demo goes where? Tavanito. D is delete. So if you push D something, it's delete something. 
If you push D, then dollar sign, it means delete up to the end of the line. Tavanito demo current public. Okay. Also, they wanted to have some supervisor configuration. This one. Okay. I will copy this. Configurations, even I'm not a supervisor expert or whatever. No ones. I can go to the etc cd supervisor. Most of the times configs are here. Then ls vi supervisor conf. Also, we can go to the conf d and add our own files here. Cleaner. It says include whatever in this directory with the extension of conf. So I will create one file for Tavanito here. vi tavanito conf okay whatever they have system ctl status supervisor service okay it's up let's restart it start okay also, we'll restart Apache for all the configurations we did. Cool. So, we did whatever they wanted to for now. They have two other requests. Elasticsearch, good for us. And they say server not answering HTTPS requests. I have to move each of these to another video. So, up to now, we have a running server with supervisor and lots of configurations still we need some hardening then we'll have an installation on elasticsearch and also we will check this https issue you see linux is easy you have to go step by step understand what you're doing search read the result of this, your search understand them and apply them this way in a very short time you can do major stuff